Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were able to come. Yeah. It's a fun time. Yes, so um, one question I had, um, Delbert Hoseman recently said no legislative money comes, or you know, no money comes through the legislature that isn't touched by someone from Vicksburg, between him and Senator Hobson. <laughs> so how will you work with legislators from Vicksburg to advance the state of Mississippi? Yeah, so there, there's no doubt that um, Lieutenant Governor Hoseman's roots are here and, and Senator Hobson representing here and being the chairman of the Appropriations Committee in the, in the Senate uh, certainly gives uh, Vicksburg and Warren County uh, a seat at the table in every conversation that happens in the legislature. And, and they're doing a, a good job and, and something that, that we should all be uh, proud of. Um, but the, the credit that I give um, them and particularly Senator Hobson is a recognition that that Vicksburg and Warren County is, is his home, but he also is looking out for the best interest of the entire state of Mississippi. And so we've worked very closely together uh, for many years now in, in ensuring um, that we are investing in education, investing in workforce development, workforce training, investing in site development, uh, which the Newport project has benefited from uh, significantly. Um, and that's going to lead to more and better and higher paying jobs for Vicksburg and Warren County. Economic development has been a, a focal point of, of, of your campaign here in the early months here. How do you think voters are going to resonate with that as we get closer to the Well, I think, I think everyone is exceptionally uh, excited in our state because uh, the reason I'm excited is because the campaign gives me the opportunity to travel around the state and tell my story. And the reality is my story is Mississippi's story. And that is a story of success, a story of educational achievement levels never seen before. Uh, that's a story of economic development unlike anything that's ever happened in our state. It's the lowest unemployment rate in state history. It's more people working than any time in our state history. Our fourth grade reading and fourth grade math results are better than any time in state history. We've invested record amounts in workforce development, workforce training, and we've seen the largest teacher pay raise in state history. Um, it's a great story. It's one that we should all be proud of. And I will tell you, as I travel around the state, um, that's what I'm hearing from people, uh, regardless of their political affiliation. They're excited about what's happening in Mississippi, and, and quite frankly, they should be. What here in Warren County or you know, Victor specifically is well, indicative? Of well, obviously, the, the partnership between the city and the county and the Economic Development Agency, and, and then ultimately with the state investing in infrastructure, uh, the new uh, proposed uh, new port here south of town is something that I'm extremely excited about. It's a site that has real potential, real opportunity, because obviously uh, the Mississippi River uh, creates a unique advantage. Um, but that particular site has great power options, great water and sewer options, great uh, options for train, uh, but also um, it creates the opportunity for um, some major capital investment, major projects over the next um, coming years. And it's something that I'm, I'm excited about. And, and I will tell you, we have I have conversations all the time. And, and another thing I'll just tell you is when I first became governor, I spent a lot of those early days because it was in the midst of uh, the pandemic on the phone calling CEOs from around the country and saying hey please look at Mississippi I don't spend a lot of time doing that anymore because they're calling me because they're interested in what's happening in Mississippi and they want to know uh, why uh, we saw six billion dollars in new capex in 2022 uh, uh, an average 10-year investment uh, before I became governor happening in one year and so it's something that um, that I'm excited about I'm proud of uh, and I think we're going to continue to see it so um, you know speaking of the two and a half billion dollar projects, things like that. We've been passed over for projects in the past. So what is your office doing to ensure that Warren County and Vicksburg as a whole succeeds in obtaining yeah, well, Those one of the th projects. one of the things I will tell you is that um, you know in, in the old days, 20 years ago, the, we always got asked initially about incentives. Um, in the, about seven, eight, ten years ago, they started asking about workforce and how do I get my product to market. And now it's about speed to market. It's about if I'm going to invest, tell me how on a particular site that I'm looking at uh, how I can get it done very, very quickly. And that's, that's the reason that the process that the local community is undergoing now with the site south of town. Um, they're going through all of those different iterations. What It takes time uh, to get through uh, all of the um, preliminary um, work that has to be done to ensure that the infrastructure is ready, that the site is ready to go. And I think those are the kind of uh, investments that are being made now uh, that I think will pay huge dividends long term. Governor, in your presentation, you talked about the condition of the roads and the interstates in particular. 
When do we have those projects coming to Vicksburg? Well, some are co we're coming sooner than others. Um, there's no doubt that um, we've got a lot of uh, work to do in terms of improving not only the, the quality and the quantity of our roads and bridges, but also uh, investing to improve uh, those ingresses and egresses onto the interstate, for instance, here in this particular county. It's something that I know Senator Hobson's working very, very hard on. He's certainly talked to me about it uh, more times than I can count on my 10 fingers. And so um, that's something that we, we have to continue to, to work towards. Um, and I think you'll see uh, work at least on one of those projects here in Warren County in the, in the coming uh, months and years. So, Governor, how, how was Eagle Lake? Do what? How was Eagle Lake? <laughs> Eagle Lake is always good. I, I got out of there without getting bitten by a snake or an alligator. That's a pretty good day at Eagle Lake. Uh, 